Welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. How's it going, guys? Nick is on location right now. He's actually he's working on something pretty cool. I know I say this all the time. Though. I'm not. I shouldn't have said that to the audience. Nick is not working on something pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but guys, I am joined. Actually, my, the guest this week on the Premium Podcast. He said, uh, he said, you need to have this guy on the show. Literally. Sam oh, Talent. Oh, man. Sam Talent cosign is a big thing. This is Rufat. Say hello to everyone. Rufat Agayev. Hey, how's everybody doing? I feel um, like you thought too much about your outfit for your first Adam Freeland show. No, nah, I just wanted to do something a little more spicy. You know what I mean? It's like I don't the, know about spicy. It's your uh, tackle vest. It's, it's the white man bulletproof vest. I don't. I do you have uh, Molly's and uh, and Zans in there? Have you? Nah. Do you ever sell drugs? I d I've only I've only done weed and mushrooms, and I just got a little joke. You've only done weed or mush and mush. No, I meant sold them. Nah, I've never sold drugs. I got into Christianity way too early in my life. Really? Mm -hmm. You're straight edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Evang pornography. Evangelism. All I was doing was pornography. Oh, that was your one vice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah. Mean, how could you not? Um, it's tough. Yeah, I guess so. I yeah, was yeah, I was yeah. really into there's, it. There's no like, yeah. There's no stopping. Do you have you haven't stopped since? <sighs> nah, I think I'm yeah. trying to. Yeah, until I can suck my own penis, I I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> stop. <laughs> 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 That's pretty much what I'm <laughs> working towards. Um, yeah. Uh, Sam was like, yeah, you gotta have roof out. He said he saw you in Denver opening for Joe Perry, and he's like, he's like, who is this guy? It was a, that's a big cosign, dude. Sam, Sam That's is a big him. cosign. He is him, man. I, I, like when you told me that, I was like, "You're geeked off of that." I was a little, I was a little geeked because he, he's one of the few uh -huh. people that I like. I watch and I'm like, mm -hmm. "Shit." Yeah. You know, you covet. Yeah. You're like, it, oh, I, okay. And I, I need to, I need to level up now. Mm -hmm. I need to, I need to, uh, 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 rid myself of all worldly. Mm -hmm you know fun and activity and i need to get good yeah no pussy I need to actually get until good sam this. talent sees me yeah that <laughs> makes, i i think a lot of the time i'm like how sad i am that patrice is dead because he would have loved me he like <laughs> 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 i, I would have been his favorite I, i'm pretty that's sure that's every new new comedian or like every comedian's worst thing that they could do for their comedy is try to be patrice o'neill why is that because to to be Patrice O'Neill, you have to like experience all the things that he mm -hmm. experienced. Life be on the inside. Be shaped in like jail. him. Yeah. Have the same voice. Have like it's just mm -hmm. there's so many different like formulas. Spiritually, I feel yeah, like yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can't. You just you ruin yourself. Uh -huh. You try to trying to be him. Yeah. You know. Spiritually, it, I think the way I talk about women on stage is pretty much. Oh, like Patrice. I do word for word Patrice bits actually. Mm -hmm. No, you know, <laughs> I got actually called out at the comedy store by Ari Shafir and Joe Rogan for um, for for doing uh, doing that thing about uh, about how there was an African guy named Kulu in the audience, and I <laughs> I was saying I hate your name to him. I was saying uh, I was like Kulu. Have you heard that bit? Of course, that was on like uh, Dude. I, I don't I don't know what album it was on, but it was like. It was like uh, it was it was a crowd work thing. Yeah, he went off. He's the best ever. He went off. Dude, I it was so Mike Racine and I I think we're in uh Nashville. Mm -hmm. And they have those like it's it's one of the worst places in America. It's like Really? Yeah, it's like Then why did Taylor it's Swift, like why did New Taylor Swift move there? She yeah, she's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh well no it's like new orleans it's like i want to do new orleans but like with less jazz people you know mm -hmm. i don't want the jazz people messing you don't up want jazz no i think i meant black black folk <laughs> yeah they don't want okay. jazz style people so oh, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, the yeah, fattest yeah, I get, I get just it. the absolute fattest bachelorette parties uh -huh. just like you see these you see these just <laughs> <laughs> these fucking vince wilforks walking around <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things they do is they have a tractor trailer and then you just they they literally go on open top tr tractors mm -hmm. uh and do like a booze tractor thing like listening to get low by little john they literally move these move these they women love, with yeah. with farm equipment <laughs> they need they need industrial farm equipment but racine and i were joking around uh about renting the uh one of those out just and just the two of us somberly listening to best of patrice o'neill on <laughs> women <laughs> just like in, in a patrice yeah yeah just like on the yeah. street loud just using the sound system to listen to to patrice <laughs> to just the elephant in, in the room or something um i do want to say guys i haven't been on the regular ep episode in a while 
but I so I haven't got a chance <laughs> to plug my tickets for this weekend in Vancouver. Tomorrow I will Please. be in Vancouver, British Columbia. And I've sold about eleven tickets over Go see this over man. seventeen shows. Um someone on Twitter was like, What if I buy all the tickets and then don't show up? And I was like, Yeah. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna Drake you. He, no, he tried no, he Drake <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Yes. Who, buy all of the tickets. Who did Drake do that to re- recently? He did it to fifty. Oh, he did it to fifty was cent or fifty cent did it to somebody. 50, oh, 50 did it to Ja Rule, and it was Are like a stadium. Are that still not over, man? Yeah, they, these guys they need to they need to squash. I love I love that uh that Milwaukee Bucks halftime show that he did. Who when Ja they Rule? Fucking with him. What happened? He got booed. And he was just like, he didn't get booed. He got it was worse. He didn't get any. Have you ever been to Milwaukee? No, I think we were talking about it. Though. It is it's like a Joe's a big time fan. Really, that's his favorite. It's like a. It's like uh, segregated. Like one block, you're like in uh, Williamsburg. The next block, you're in, like, like Chief Keef, Chicago, oh. Wild Hundreds. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't oh, realize d- it was like that. I <laughs> thought it was like beer and bratwurst and like what are fat people? Not. Uh, 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 this is a Kyle, cut. the guy from the Black Lives Matter, the shooter. This is a yeah. R- what, what's well, his name? Kyle. Kyle uh, yeah, Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need. I feel. I feel bad even saying the name. That's so. I don't, I don't know, dude. During my I don't episode, care. I, I don't. His name. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care what the court says, Kyle. I'm gonna look at the camera. I think you're a bad boy still. I think you should. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> win it back. I'm gonna redeem myself and and give you a deep cut, uh, Milwaukee person, Cuckoo Cow. Give it up for Cuckoo Cow in my projects. Who you the fuck is that the Cuckoo Cow? You Cuckoo. didn't watch BT in the in, in the mid nineties? No, we have we have an audience of racists. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm uh, of course I know who I, who, who Cuckoo Poo is. Cuckoo Cow. Cuckoo, Cuckoo, Cuckoo in what? my projects. I am the walrus. He's a Cuckoo he's a Cuckoo. Milwaukee rapper. He is. Yeah, yeah. And what does he rap about? How he's in his projects. Oh my word! You're a former <laughs> rapper, but you only rapped yeah. about Christ. No, 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 no. I did a, I did a whole, uh, a whole career for the devil. I started. You like, stopped with Christ rap. Yeah, I stopped with Christ rap. What kind of stuff? What, what were your bars like when you were a Christian rapper? Um, they were, you know, I, I, I here, here was my thing. I was always like, I'm a cri- I'm a rapper that's Christian, not a Christian rapper. Yeah, I'm you know, a business man. Cool. I'm not a business man. I was trying to be cool. You know, I was like. Yeah, I, I was I was trying to infiltrate the world. Like my big thing was I wanted to like get Kanye saved, and then well, it he came out with Jesus walks. No, He's, I know you knew he was Christian. No, from the but jump. like I wanted to make him like evangelical, like uh, you know, just how are you gonna do that? Kid, kidnap him like Borat style? <laughs> no, the ending of <laughs> Borat I always forget is so funny when he puts a sack over Pamela Anderson. And he robs. Okay, so, <laughs> so back in my country, back in the that day, the that was a problem. Oh yeah, so so uh, Rufa is also half Armenian, half yeah. Azerbaijani, yeah. mm-hmm. and half <laughs> <laughs> that ain't white to me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's kind of it's a beautiful thing. It's like you're half Palestinian, half Israeli. They hate each other, right? They yeah, but they're you know they got similar customs and they were we, we, people forget they were friend they were you know they lived amongst each other during the USSR uh-huh. so they weren't always so mean to each other. But, but you yeah. think as a half half you could go to the border and just do your set and maybe just bring them? <laughs> 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 Why? Just like you get that? Because I'm in a weird place where like Azuris get mad at me because you know I I or not all Azuris but they get they get mad at me because you know I I stick up I stuck up for. You know the the peop- Armenians that got displaced uh, uh-huh. during this past thing, and Kim then, Kardashian is fine ass, like those kind of people. They ain't all like that, man. Also, Kim Kardashian's half; she's not fool. Oh, so you come she's on? Not, you're you're not trying to claim her? I'm not saying I'm not trying to. Jews claim try her. to claim someone with one drop. Who? Fucking Paul Newman, I think. He's Armenian. <laughs> no, Jewish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's Armenian. That'd be cool. What is it? What's your? What you guys are f- fighting a war over like cell phone kiosks or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Have you ever seen that video of? I think they're Armenian dudes that went to join ISIS. Like they were like L.A. Really? gangbangers. I gotta pull it up, dude. They went to join ISIS. They were like they were like shooting sideways. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they were like, come on. They were man. like crib walking and shooting sideways. Wait, Pete, can we pause one second? I'm sorry, dude. You got a pee? Or you got it? It's right here, bro. That's so embarrassing. What? You dropped the dun dun. I need my my baba. <laughs> I need my baba. <laughs> Where my baba? Okay, we're gonna start. Um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna find you this video. All right, find me the video. Yeah, uh, Armenian ISIS LA gang bangers, dude. It's really funny. I think they're, yeah, they're like we in Syria, homie. <laughs> Can I see? Let me represent myself, homie. It's Quipro, homie, from that G-Dub Treze gang, homie, Sun Valley gang, homie. It's fucking Wiener from Westside Armenian Power gang, homie. Still Puro Sureños putting it down, homie. And Middle East, homie, in Syria, still gang bang. Yeah, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say about that because I don't know who, you know, I don't want to be found. That's just visibility, bro. That's just visibility. Yeah, nah, I'm good. I'm, I, I have nothing. Those just guys, accept those the visibility. Guys seem very cool. <laughs> if you get one, if you get one guy, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not. You're trying like, to start okay, we ma we made like it with, this far. With, with, like people where I'm from, like when they threaten you, they will do it. You know, we're we're in Florida. No, just like from around the Caucasus. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but you're, we're really far away. Where are they gonna come over here? I, don't, I mean, they could man. take some shots at some Caucasus. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot take a shot at someone over there who me yeah no i'm good don't you if I'm you good. have like a village idiot or someone you don't like probably over there. i haven't been there in a while is bro. it borat style that's what americans think about everywhere that like that we just assume yeah, borat they think we're like but but think it's about pretty every, racist <laughs> think about every movie that you see like somebody that's like kind of like that they're always like a sex trafficker or they kill john wick's dog yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah. we never could do anything or like not even the main sex trafficker. They're like one of the first to Ex die. Exactly. Yeah. It's like sex trafficker number two. They so. give it to like the like Russian guy. But then how come you guys don't get any of this, the sex trafficking shit? Because we're, do we're doing You guys do it. Because we're doing You guys it. are the best Cause, at it. Because we, cause we make the movies. You understand? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you get it. Wait, you, how can you traffic and do the movies? Well, we're not going to put no it fair. in the movie. We're not going to be like Little St. James, the island, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit too close that's a little bit on the nose right we're gonna be like oh yeah it's the Rufat style guys <laughs> yeah 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 it's yeah, yeah. they're we're like john week i'm <laughs> i've i will have sex with your dog let me <laughs> john week damn you might imagine john week we have sex with dogs he like you combine john wick with taken and he just sex traffics the dog well is that his dog is being <laughs> fucked <laughs> yeah have you ever seen the movie? He takes it to like little breeding places. Have you seen the movie? Uh, fuck the Paul Schrader movie where uh, Schrader, hardcore the dude off of off the Adam Freeland show. Giant? No, that's <laughs> that's Paul Shear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good show. I loved Human Giant. I tried the other day to find a sketch from Human Giant Human and Giant could was not find shit. it on the internet. My favorite sketch it was when Human John was coming out. Shout out to those guys. Yeah. Was when the guys at SeaWorld and his girlfriend like goes up to the tank and they're like, uh, we need one volunteer. And he's like filming and his girlfriend like, he's like me. Mm -hmm. And then the, the uh, like Shamu gives her a kiss and, and he's like standing there. He's like, what the? And like, uh, He's like, I saw you back there with him. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, it's just a whale. Like, he's just in a show. He's like, yeah, whatever. Like, and then, yeah, he, like, breaks up with his girlfriend. The, there's a really funny part where he buys McDonald's filet fishes mm -hmm. and he starts punching the sandwich. <laughs> because he, cause it's a fish oh, sandwich. It's, a fish. <laughs> it's, what, all right, all it's right. very stupid. I like the, I like the yeah. jingle one. You know, where the dude tries to act like he knows the jingle to the song. But they're like, oh, you're clearly making this up. Then they see the on the commercial. Basically, I like I like shout out to MTV's Human Giant, the sketch I, show I, with Aziz <laughs> that launched Aziz Ansari's career. I, yo, I I loved Aziz back then. I thought Rob I Hubel Aziz. was the star of that show, though. I always thought that guy was the funniest Rob one. Hubel. He was the white guy. Okay, not yeah, yeah. With, not bald. Not the fucked up teeth. That's Paul he Shear. He looked regular. That's Paul Schrader. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What were we Wait, talking who's about? Paul Schrader. Paul Schrader. Well, I mean, you're a big fan of the Adam Freeland show. You would have seen the. The last episode of the talk show. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, nah. I've watched every. I'm more of a fresh and fit guy. 
I've watched every single one of your black sand <laughs> stand up sets. See I've watched every single one of your AAVE <laughs> stand up sets. And you don't want to watch my beautiful talk show. My Jewish style empathetic talk show. That's, anyway, that's no. why Paul I'm, Schrader you know, is like he's a filmmaker, but he made this movie about like a guy who lives in Wisconsin and his daughter's like on a class trip to San Francisco and then she like leaves to go fuck <laughs> and he has to go to SF to get his daughter back. Oh, so it's like but it is this. It's it like is taken, like but artistic. Less. It's taken, but less martial arts. Taken really took it to the next level because it was like that movie needed martial taken arts. Taken took it because that movie was more like, did you fuck my daughter? <laughs> that movie was more like a uh, just a angry like man, uh, just getting sad that pornographers are drugging and fucking his his daughter. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Had it had it karate, and she was in San Diego. San Francisco. San Francisco. That's yeah. not even a good porn scene. It's a yeah, but maybe in that's those days. That's like a tier days, B, right? Maybe. Well, that's it. Yeah, I don't know about. It. Are yeah. you big? You're like an IMDb of porn. No, I'm just saying it's like Miami and LA are the two big ones. Who right? are your top five MCs of porn? You got Mia Khalifa. <laughs> oh, you. Who about, are the ghosts? No, I'm talking about. Uh, you know, there's there's like porn yeah. like black porn stars that rapped though. So you I, follow I the like guys. A good, I like a yeah 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 yeah. yeah. You, you, you gotta follow the guys. You have to. Start. You gotta follow the guys. <laughs> you gotta follow the guys. Lexington. Not like in no gay stuff, but it's just like you know when the scenes are gonna be good. Like I'm I'm a big like fan of classic black porn. Really big fan. Yeah. When did the when did black porn introduce the jo- like full naked but still having Jordans? It's not always Jordan. Sometimes it's there's Tim's. a sneaker, but there's a sneakers aspect Tim's. to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just I, I never uh, understood the utility. I think in that community, is it, I might be showing f- your feet is like a sign of weakness. Really, you can't show feet. Thank you. That's why we have a black guest on the show today. <laughs> I'm learning all times. <laughs> See, that's why that, that's ad time. Okay, oh. yeah, and okay, uh, ad time. Is it for grip? I always thought it was for grip, so you could hit. Well, that's it, it's, it's anyway. Like one so of, we yeah, want to tell you about Babel. <laughs> Just speculating about, <laughs> about That's ebony. That's a good excuse just for the insecurity. speculating about ebony pornography. <laughs> Why ebony, too? It's such a... It's a lovely... Anyway. Uh, the best way to learn a language? Immersion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in... Uh, this, this I'll, is be a, in uh, I'll be in... I'll uh, be in... Fucking Vancouver. Vancouver, British Columbia. Is, this week. Do they teach you? Um, they teach you how to speak stuff. Yeah, they teach you how to speak stuff. How much stuff do you know how to speak? Russian. Russian. Just Russian. Give us a couple b- bars. Can you rap in Russian? Nah. Yeah. 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 Got yeah, the, yeah, I love American TV. Got a leather jacket, Wilson's leather, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> premium, <laughs> premium grain leather. Yo, my dad just uh, uh, uh we married, drive infinity. <laughs> he, he married a, a woman from uh, uh, Russia, like he kind of uh-huh. like kind of like brought her over here. She a good woman. I took them to a baseball game, and she was like, "Why is there so many Mexicans here?" Come on, man. <laughs> come on. Man. She can't come <laughs> over here. We <laughs> we like, she can't come to my country and say that kind of thing. <laughs> To my to the best a, people to the best people game, that live man. here, I know. Okay, but if it's not in the cards this year, you can still learn a language. This year. <laughs> okay, so right. pardon the rudeness, guys. We want to tell you about Babel. What's the best way to learn a language? It's immersion, right? Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. came to America, you were immersed, immersed. Yeah, and you kind of culture. where were you? You were in like Erie South Pen- Central Los Angeles. No, no, you no were Erie, Pennsylvania, East Side. Is this, so you have an Erie. Oh, you're on the East Side though. On the East Side. Oh, of not course. like in, I wasn't. Like I should have known your East Side of Erie. For people from Erie, they know. Guys, what's the best way to immerse yourself? It's with Babbel, guys. One in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list before they die. (laughs) Like a bucket list? That's a sad... I want to have a threesome. I want to have a MFF threesome. I want to learn a new language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I learned Austrian. Austrian isn't a language, dog. It's German. Come oh, on. Okay, my bad. These guys are fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that. I was trying to reach If out. that's you, make 2024 the year you finally check it off the list with Babbel. Fast forward to the end of 2024. Think of your goals. What can you do right now to give yourself the best chance of succeeding? If you learn a new language, you absolutely should get Babbel. Guys, 
Be better. Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel. The science backed. Science backed. Mm-hmm. Food, they got Fauci on it. Um, the science backed la- uh, language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors. That's what I would do. I get a sexy girl from the country, and and I fall in love with her. Nah, don't do that. Why? Don't Come fall on. in love with her, bro. But the it doesn't matter if we speak the same language because the, we speak the language of love. love. Yeah. She speaks the language of green card citizenship. Yeah. And she's gonna and plot I'm on, a, she's I'm gonna her plot to, on you to move I'm her, her whole to entire Fendi. family over here. I take here. her to Fendi, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> das va done. Yeah, we go to Fendi. It's so we go crazy. shopping. Because my uh, dad is kind of broke, so she just came over here to like face more oppression. Really? Yeah. She went for she came over here for a poor guy? <laughs> yeah. Damn, she's a real <laughs> idiot, that girl. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. I actually got an app that I thought was gonna help me speak the language, but but uh, I just met a lot of guys to have sex with Dua, on it. Dua Lipa? No, it was called Grinder. I thought it was a language app. <laughs> I thought these guys were uh, language tutors. Mm-hmm. I was paying them thousands of dollars, and I was just getting my ass fucked. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, Adam. <laughs> Pete didn't laugh at it, so then I felt <laughs> bad. Now he's laughing. I'm, I'm Where is Nick? Where is Nick? <laughs> okay, we'll be right back, guys. Uh, oh, I got to tell you something else after this that's kind of that I did today. I feel Nick told me I, on the phone before mm-hmm. this, Nick told me that I am an absolute psycho for doing this, and I thought it was a cool idea. So I'm going to tell you after this. Okay. Guys, let's go to the fucking product code. Guys, nice. here's the special, and it's a limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, you can get 55% off. That's a fucking huge deal. That's crazy. That's a huge 50, deal. They didn't have to add the extra five. As a, as a, as a Ar- Armenian, uh, uh, yeah. Azerbaijani, and a Jew, the 55%. I mean, that's big. They have lost their minds. Right now, you get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash T-A-F-S. That's get 55% off at babbel.com slash T-A-F-S. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash TAFS. Oh, I need that, actually, yeah, for the second. Really, yeah, um, there's a couple other ones. So I, w- I got an eye exam today. <laughs> I needed one. Eye exam? Yeah. They, 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 they hit you up with the... No, no, no. I, didn't, I just went for the, for the letters. I, things have been fuzzy guess what my prescription didn't change just my uh my lenses were just had become cloudy because they were old really yeah i just <laughs> too much you've been i just went the strip clubs for, i just much? went for the dirty glass i went to the <laughs> i went to the eye doctor for dirty glasses i'm i'm an idiot first of all okay but i've gotten google alerts for near me in brooklyn an mm-hmm. eye doctor named dr adam friedland mm-hmm. so i'm like next time i go and I've forgotten a couple times. I was like, damn, I got to go. Bro, it's not. As so Nick called me today and I was like, uh, hey, I'm at the eye doctor. He said, happy. He said, happy Shavuot, which is the Jewish holiday today okay. that he saw on the calendar. What is, what, what, He's a real suck up. That guy has been sucking up. No, but uh, then, it, then I was like, hey, I'm at the eye doctor. It's uh, I found an eye doctor named Adam Freeland. He was like, there's actually that's there's something wrong with you. <laughs> It's not that exciting when you meet somebody that's that's. The, I the never same met. Name. I'd never met one. I ha- I've met. I never met two one. Two Rufata guys. Really? Yeah. Oh, I back in them, back in no the, here. You met them and here. They were one. You took didn't me meet back to his apartment. We had drinks. Really? It was cool. He's a, like an entertainment <laughs> lawyer for HBO, so he's doing a lot. What? Better. There's a powerful one. Mm-hmm. There's oh, a powerful. This one guy was just an eye doctor. And, but then the other one was a Spectrum guy. He came to fix my internet. I was like, yo. Oh, I thought he was oh. like uh, autistic. I was like, yo. I thought he meant autistic. <laughs> Mate, no, he was a Jew, though. There's a, he, there, we got Jew, we, we, we make the Jews live in the mountains where we're from. We really? send them up to the mountains. That would be awful. Huh? That's like the opposite <laughs> of Jew. <laughs> the mountain? Yeah, we just. What am I getting like with? <laughs> <laughs> with the winds? Yeah. The, an eagle <laughs> ate, ate my wife? <laughs> Eagles keep swooping down and eating my children. <laughs> On a mountain? Yeah, we make them go to the mountain. That's a horrible. You make them go to the mountain? Mm-hmm. That is so fucking, <laughs> like... No, but you know... Azer- is it like 1634 over no, there? No, no. You know Azerbaijan uh, 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 um, uh, uh, gives 40% of Israel's oil is from Azerbaijan and all the... and the, Respect. The, and the Respect. Wep- and guess up. what? The weapons that Azerbaijan used, you know, against Armenia... We're from Israel. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds good. Sounds it's crazy. Sounds pretty good. There. Yeah. 
Well, you got to hear both sides. So. And then anyway. Iran supports Armenia. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a whole. They got it's they're crazy. friends with both of them. <laughs> yeah. That's an Adam style country. <laughs> yeah, That's crazy. a me style country. <laughs> what? Just like also being friends with Iran. No, no, they're not friends. Iran, I- Iran supports. No, I'm saying I- I'm Azerbaijan. I suck up to Israel and suck up to Iran. No, no, no. Iran doesn't like. Oh no. I, oh, I thought they were hedging Iran their likes bets. The cri- Armenia. No, no. The Adam saw country is going to oh. go with the winner. You know, <laughs> it's like I'm going to suck up to both of them. Oh, okay, all right. Whoever yeah, yeah. nukes the other one, I'm going to be like, I was rooting for you the whole time. Exactly. I was just telling the other guy I was friends with him, but it was bullshit. It was a lie. I, I was. I've been talking shit behind his back this whole time. That's a that's that's a my diplomat that's but Kissinger. It's kind of a Jewish style I think diplomacy. Like, I think you it would be dope if you would be the next prime minister of Israel. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. <laughs> They're not funny. <laughs> have you ever seen? Have yes. you ever met a funny yes. one? Have you met one funny Israeli? I'll go on the record saying this: I have not met a funny one. Man, uh, what's the point of? Be- why new? are you why are you nervous about that? <laughs> <laughs> what's not. the what's the point of being Jewish <laughs> Yo, if you're not no. funny? I used to work. I used to work. The <laughs> army going to the army? No, 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 no. But look, 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 look. But that that's the opposite. What they do? What they do? My mother would literally kill me if uh-huh. I went to the American, ar- the United States Army. We don't go uh, to armies. Well, well but uh, over there they go to armies and they they're to, not funny. Well, I work. It's I, the opposite. I, w- I was a waiter at this uh, Israeli lady's uh, uh, restaurant. And uh, she was in the IDF, and 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 sh- I wasn't a good waiter. I wasn't a good waiter. But she would be like, "See, this is the problem with you, you Americans. You don't go. They don't force you to go to the army, and that's why you can't. You don't have any character." That's not a Jewish and thing to say. And she didn't know. She didn't know that's I fled a, a fucking war. To- and I, I was like, "How does holding an a, a, no, a, no, an assault rifle to side. a child give you character?" Now you're a fucking draft dodger. I'm on her side. What you do you fled mean? Fled a war. Me? You're a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell girls that. I was five. That you man. ran away. Oh, I wasn't seven. I wasn't a fighting age. People in Africa five. fight at people in Africa <laughs> fight at five all the time. <laughs> you wanted me to be a child soldier. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's crazy when you see them wearing. I couldn't because I was. It's crazy the, when you see them wearing. My like, mom. My mom was the end. Like the enemy. They're wearing like crazy there. NBA like throwbacks. Like 2001. They have like a Rafer Alston jersey. Whenever you see like like militias in Africa, they got the the you know the clothes that were donated and like found their way to Africa. Yeah, they got like a New York Knicks. They got NBA a meta, finals. They got uh, a meta world champion. peace. <laughs> they're wearing a world a shirt that says world <laughs> peace while they're killing some. You know, like while they're like uh you know involved in a, a bloody child war. Not funny, actually. Not funny. Anyway, Not funny. here's my point. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this point because I think that this is this mm-hmm. is really a good perspective, and mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone's saying this. Serving your country. Overrated? Just the term. No offense, Pete. Well, I guess her thing is like, how can you serve the customers in my restaurant if you haven't served? Serving your country just sounds gay. (laughs) What are you going to suck? You're sucking your country's dick? Oh, let me serve you. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) What did you do? He's a Navy SEAL, actually. Oh, he's a Navy SEAL? Yeah. Oh, so he's deep indoctrinated. He was... He got I don't like, know if I could say this, but he was uh, right on Bin Laden. Did they give you... Did you ever take LSD? No, they tried to make me before they right on Bin Laden. He did. He was, they tried to give him LSD before they the raided guy Bin that, Laden? It's so funny. They crashed the helicopter on the way to Bin Laden. <laughs> 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 One of them transitioned afterwards. One of the SEAL Team Six is I, is trans now. I like when the I like when I hear stories about the more obsessed, or uh, not obsessed, oppressed classes or people in our society when they're like on the brink, like they do evil stuff. Like like I like my one of my favorite things is is the uh, Lockheed Martin float at the Pride Parade. Yeah, like, like that's just a good like. I don't well, know. I anytime, like seeing irony. Like anytime that, the like, the CIA Twitter account says "Happy Martin Luther <laughs> yeah. King Day" or the FBI, <laughs> yeah. they like killed him. I live for that. Can type you imagine of. the bitch ass FBI is like telling your wife that you're getting pussy? That is such a bitch ass move. Mm, yeah. Just let me live, dude. Yeah. Just let. Me <laughs> let me rock. You really out, didn't man. support that statement either. Nah, I'm just. I'm just trying to stand up for Martin Luther King getting <laughs> pussy. He deserved it. He was a great guy. 
Yeah, I I don't disagree. You know who else? You know who they ratted on? Malcolm also, was clean though. Tiger. FB- Tiger. FBI told Elon oh, that no. he was he was fucking he was fucking fours. Tiger Woods. Yeah. Yeah, I think America does like uh, America do, does feel threatened by uh, Tiger infiltrating golf courses, right? I don't know about that. No, he no. he just acted too like too much like a good, like people just don't like authenticity. That's what people like. So mm-hmm. Tiger, t- Tiger, everyone was like he's such a good guy, and then we found out that oh, a rich guy also is getting getting laid, right? Yeah. But like Mike Tyson never pretended to be a good guy, and he's in the Hangover movies, even though he savagely raped and beat Robin Givens. But now we're like, oh, well, I think he beat. But uh, I'm not like trying to stand up for you know, Mike Tyson rape. You know, I'm. Not I'm just saying that like um, but with society her. was more willing to forgive <coughs> Mike Tyson, be, but felt betrayed by Tiger, and mm-hmm. it's because like uh, they felt like oh you lied to us. Yeah. You be- told us you weren't getting pussy at the Waffle Hut waitress, uh, whatever parking lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah. That. Yeah. Pe- we we want Tiger was my favorite dude. Because we're obsessed with, like, you know, the reality Truman Show, you know. Uh-huh. Good shit. point. Good yeah. point. Did you say that in your set that Sam Town? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he even liked my stand-up. Cause I, He's I, one of the best, c- dude. That's so I know. sick. I know. I, th- I, I do think that's really sick. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I do get self-conscious. I'm like, when people first see me, do they think I'm just like, yo, what's good, everybody? <laughs> no, but you're good. Your jokes are good. I, yeah. You're great. This guy's a, a great writer. Give me some of your Christian bars, please. Well, I I didn't I don't really remember them. And the Jews put him up on the cross. No, it's it, it was a Jew's fault. Well, I did go to the Charlie Ward basketball camp and he was he was on some anti Semitic shit. Was he? Yeah. I mean he got whatever. in trouble. Everyone is. I got Reggie White's autograph. Yeah, I was Do you the- remember when Reggie White got honored by the Wisconsin like state assembly after he retired? And he, anyway, he did something really Christian. No, he was like he's like like Asian people they can make a TV out of sticks and he's like Mexicans you could fit like 400 in a house and they were like they were giving him like uh-huh. like the state of Wisconsin was like thank you for like all your sacks for the Packers and he was like white people only care about money <laughs> he, was just, he was just doing deaf comedy jam he was just like it was like shock it was a, it was very funny yeah he wanted to be patrice bro that was his it was thing. the patrice effect he wanted to be patrice yeah it was the patrice effect we're too skinny to be you know we can't we can't do the patrice stuff man. it's not about the body although there's nothing funny about a skinny white guy yeah right oh fat white guy that's hilarious stop he just looks great I got. I have. You're just ready to I laugh. Have a, I have a comedian from Las Vegas that I want to show you, but I don't want to. I I was on another podcast before this, and I don't want to like you know. I don't want to make the scene hot or make fun of anybody like you know publicly. I want to like shame nobody, but I'll, I'll remind me to show you afterward. Was it? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, just yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, no, I I can't, man. I can't. I can't. Why? But you did it on someone else's podcast. No, 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 and we took it off. We took it off. You took it off. Yeah, yeah, we took it off. It's I, bad. I respect, like I, that's not my thing. I don't want to start beefs. I'm very hateful. I did bitter. a mic once in Vegas when I was first starting stand up, and there was a. They have this thing, the Star Trek experience, mm-hmm. where you go in and like people are like dressed like they're on the Enterprise or like Klingons or, and or some shit. And some guy came from his job dressed as an alien and. He was like, yeah, so, um, you know, big deal these days is uh, illegal aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? The ones that abduct me you? Because or? Uh, cause I'm an alien. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> he was doing all alien jokes. But I was like, I asked him, I was like, did you put this on for the open mic? The 5 p.m. open mic? <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm just coming from work at the Star Trek experience. How? living in vegas must be foul i mean i was just there in high school it's pretty no it's like florida dude it's like or it's like orange county it's like shout out to tarkanian did all the the houses in your neighborhood look the same was it were they like tracked housing Mm -mm -mm -mm. that's how i grew where are you talking about in florida yeah in florida nah in florida i lived in a really uh beautiful neighborhood like the south side is is like a historically black neighborhood because of jim crow like who is uh, he huh he was a guy. Uh, Running back. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He set the record for rushing. Yards. <laughs> all American. Yeah, all American. Yo, Jim Crow, <laughs> that boy could run the damn football. <laughs> Who was Jim Crow? Yeah, yeah. Just a lot of red. He was, I was wondering, was he, was he good the, in the red line? Was Jim Crow the white the guy zone, or the, the black red. guy? <laughs> was it a white guy named Jim Crow or a black guy named Jim Crow? They say it was. He was made up. Oh, it's a it's a character. It's like Larry the Cable Guy. Like they say, <laughs> like, like they. Or, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the Larry the Cable Guy laws that were a big problem in the South yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. People had to get her done, and uh, <laughs> racism get her yeah, done. Yeah, was that? Ah, huh? We got an ad, guys. You I'm, ever try I'm to break a bad up. habit and it felt like you're climbing Everest in flip-flops? I know you you uh, masturbate a lot. A lot. Yeah. And I've tried I've tried to stop. Is it is it a lot or are you saying it in a stand-up comedy way where it's like you probably beat one time a day? I think it's I I think Which because is like I've a guy went, amount. Because I went through so like much like trauma and I have two parents that have been divorced together five times each. Ye so like a total of Wait, 10 times together. they got back together, together five no. times? No, no, no. I'm talking about like they both got five divorces each. Oh, okay. So like I just, I, I've i probably since I was a Wait, young you age, had, I've you used masturbation as deflection. You went to all the weddings? Nah, not all of them. How many did you go to? Probably like a lot of them, they just stopped having weddings after a while. And they would just, I, I would show up at the house and be like, oh, you're married now? Did you have any like, like uh, your dad get any MILFs? No, because my dad's always been into like really young women, like 20 years younger than him always. But like around your age, adult though? Adult? <laughs> no. I'm just saying, so a sexy younger stepmom, yeah. perhaps she gets caught in the dryer. It wasn't, I hated them. That's, I think, that's the thing. Like I wasn't I think you really missed them. out on, you know. On like, on nah, that shit is hack, bro. So you just saw her, oh, <laughs> you watched... <laughs> you watch uh, stepmom porn and you're like, this hack. This it's is hacky. It's hack because they don't yeah. know the true pain of actually having a young stepmom. Oh, for me, I watched that because it fulfills a fantasy of where my parents actually did get divorced. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, did, did you <laughs> you got step parents? Did you have step parents? No, unfortunately, they never did. But what my the fuck dad, is wrong with your parents? If my dad brought. Why are they living in the past? Well, my mom's dead now, but uh, and well, my dad took impeccable care of her at the end of her life, so it was really. No, my dad would never do that. That was that was that was like wait that was oh, a that was check a in oh, was no it was real but real yeah really? yeah yeah well, you were trying yo, to go give it up for his dad you were trying to go with to the you were trying to go with the like what's wrong with them but oh. I would have loved it if my dad brought home one of these milfs you know okay oh, we got a fume let's cut the <laughs> we got a fume so have you ever tried to break a bad habit <laughs> and felt like you're climbing Mount Everest in flip flops. We know you. You've tried to. Uh, what's the What's the That's longest you've comment. stopped uh, on your bad habit of touching yourself? Uh, when I was a Christian, I once went thirty days 
30 days nothing no nope. wow. yeah 30 days <laughs> till i had a uh but you're not like till i had a wet dream and you're not I was a like, chronic well, masturbate you're not like on a train like in a fucking duster oh, no no so no. you're fine you probably you're but a I guy just have, like religious just you don't know, feel bad about yourself you're a beautiful man but, and you know we've been there too rufat especially and here's a breath of fresh air it's fume <laughs> It's not only about giving up, it's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. So here's what it is. Instead of vapor, mm-hmm. go to cut to roof hot. He, he has the fume, he put a flavored core in it. And fume uses French inhaling, completely natural uh, flavors instead of electronics. It's not, a, it's not an electronic tool. Actually, give that a spin too, the, the wooden part. It's got a good weight to it, and that's a satisfying noise, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it does it's, function in a fidget kind of spinner sense. Exactly. And instead of harmful chemicals, they just use delicious flavors. So what you're doing is you're just flavoring your air, baby. I'm flavoring my yeah. air. It's it's imagine like a Glade plug-in, but uh-huh. a like a gl- well, like that's a, electronic. Like a blunt, like a like yeah. I'm 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 f- hitting the Glade. Yeah, exactly. It's mm-hmm. like a Glade plug-in, but a blunt. And hitting the lead, which is, uh, I think, uh, stoners around. Is that around. allowed? That's allowed? I, I think you can say... Hitting the glade? You cannot. It says, do not say that it's a <laughs> glade plug-in. <laughs> You're lying. That's like a blunt. <laughs> they said the owners of Fume do not want people to associate with glade plug-in flavored blunts. <laughs> the taste, the first time you tried it, you just tried it for the first time. Mm-hmm. Was it more flavorful than you thought? It's good. It was fresh. Yes. Too. And yes. that is the maple pepper flavor, mm-hmm. which they, is like not a flavor that you would even have come up with. They came up with that for you, and it's maple and pepper are f- for the first time. It's like know? Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. Mm. You know? Where it's like, is this working on my teeth? No, it says it says you can't... Bring up any other brands. No, they don't like Dr. Bronner's because it's like, what am I supposed to read this whole fucking bottle? <laughs> <coughs> I thought I crushed, but you were just coughing. No, don't the, cut don't the coughing. That no, was the cool. do, no. The coughing is bad, and also the Doctor Bronner's thing. I thought, I thought that would do better because it's like you know how they have all those words. Mm-hmm. But you weren't listening. You were just thinking of fucking. Your brain was just uh how d- was just like that's a shit I don't like. I was They're, trying your, to give your you brain a was. Good- like, <laughs> no, I was trying to give you a good like <laughs> a snitch. Re- that's that shit I don't like. I'm not trying to interrupt. That's just you. what's happening in your good, brain. I'm trying to be a good. Well, you know what's happening in my brain. You know what's happening in my brain. There goes my hero. And as I look at you, dude, <laughs> and Sam Talent's hero as well. Okay, guys, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's real wood, guys. Start your year off right with a good habit by going to tryfume. That's f u m dot com slash tafs. Get it. Your journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of this show 10% off when they use my code TAFS to help make starting the good habit that much easier. All right. That was we that be, was one of the most done. efficient ad reads we've ever done. Right, Pete? I Pete, like how does it feel to be watching incompetence on this level? When you were in the, na- when you were in the Navy. In the gay one. <laughs> <laughs> when you were in the gay- Navy. Well, you know, your uh, who's the who's your boss? The admiral or something? No, <laughs> <laughs> so, what would your seaman <laughs> have said about such a herky jerky ad read? I, I'm sure he wouldn't have been happy. <laughs> what's the thing? Ooh, you gotta scrub the deck. Scrub yeah, the yeah. poop deck. Mm-hmm. No, that's a little on the nose. Wait, what's the thing at the Naval Academy? You have to climb like a giant like cock. So at the at the Naval Academy, all but, but what's the first year? The first years are named what? The plebes, the plebes, the 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 freshmen. They have to climb an oiled, like uh, basically uh, a, a pole. Yeah, it's basically a just a uh, a phallic. Of they have to climb an oiled phallus, mm-hmm. and they have to like get on each other's shoulders and like to touch the top. Damn. That's nice. how, and that's how you join the fucking Navy. <laughs> 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 No, I mean for real though. Shout Why out. Not the, more people need to start joining the Coast Guard. Why is that? Because it's like they don't really send you to war. They'll just send you to like a little like disaster area. Yeah, but what, are the, like, what about you know, the war of man versus shark? You know. 
I mean, what about yeah. seeing someone, you know, get ate up, get get you, bit up? You know, did you hear Trump's shark thing this week? No, no, no. what was Trump's he shark thing? He hates sharks. For okay. some reason, he, he told Stormy Daniels, he's like, I'd never give money to any organization that starts that supports sharks. He hates them. Uh-huh. But he was at a rally and he was like, he's like, I, he's like, I've often thought of something probably because of my connection to MIT. He said it like as if, you know, like this he's is an a real intellectual. Yeah. Yeah. This is a real like fucking Schrodinger's cat. Mm-hmm. He said, if you were in a boat that was sinking and it had an incredibly powerful battery. I heard that. I heard. Would yeah. you? <laughs> First of okay, all, okay. Now I heard that he thinks that, that you can electrocute the entire ocean, <laughs> 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 and then he's like, uh, he's like, I'd rather the electrocution. He's like on than a Tesla shark. boat, right? He hates sharks. He made Stormy Daniels watch Shark Week in the hotel and said how much he hates them. What, what's what's something that you've made women watch? Like what's something that like Sopranos? your go to Sopranos? Sopranos? Yeah, Sopranos. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Every time, Ooh. and I watch it with the girls if. I start dating someone they haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. I go through all of it, and I'm like, "That's what it's, I like." Look at her, and I'm like, "That's what the game is all about." I'm like, "You know, Watch the whole thing with them, eight all eighty eight hours." Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. a commitment. No, no, I mean, I, I, I is think it your it's, way to like indoctrinate them? No, I just think it's like a, uh, it's an. I mean, girl, I watch Sex in the City with girlfriends. Mm-hmm. I do it. I do the other way. way. I just watched Fleabag with 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 a woman. Was she a slut? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. Was she it Flea Black Bag Flea is the Bag. British lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Phoebe Bridgers. F- Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And w- did it work out? Are you guys still together? Uh, yeah, we cool. You're cool. We cool. We like we're in the we're in like a maybe like a grayish area where we're figuring things out. Uh, let's really figure that. Let's let's figure wanna, that out wanna, right now. You want to figure this out? Yeah, all right, yeah. All right. So she made you watch this this fucking girl show. I got got to watch more girl shows. So you already put the work in on that. Yeah, put the, but and it's now she's sure. like it's now like, she's like I'm not sure season. about you. No, no, no. I think it's like right right now. I'm just trying to figure out. You know, with like my heavy uh, <laughs> touring schedule. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sam oh, Talent. You. Ever since Sam Talent found out about me, I've been getting a lot more road gigs. This is big for you. Yeah, I mean, big. especially today. It's big. You know? Yeah, it's you gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. You know, you 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 planned your big closer also after the third ad that we have to sell. Yeah, <laughs> I have. You have your big closer prepared for the end of the big, show. Big closer. So you you told this girl that you're a rambling this man. Yeah. You can't you can't. No, I didn't say all that. Right now. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out. I've, I I feel like. How old are you? 36 I'm, i've been in i'm 37 I've, i think at this point i've been in some relationships i've been in some mm-hmm. my neighbor my neighbor said this my, my 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 uh my my neighbor's son who's who's a gay man he told <laughs> he told uh he told his mother she was she's like Just yeah, that you know. sentence is so funny <laughs> my neighbor's son who's a gay guy was telling me this the other no day. he told his is mom he like a he's like a wise uh like a bagger of like, style Rufat, Rufat always got a girl he always got some women around him it's, it's like brian fellow safari mm-hmm. planet tracy morgan yeah, yeah, yeah. that's he's who like, it is he always got he always it's like got a hide girl. your kids and hide I, your wife kind of guy yeah and, and that kind of gay Kinda, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah, going. yeah. And I took that personally, like, oh, maybe like, maybe I don't always need to be like in a relationship. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I just need to chill out for a second. Who cares? I need to reconnect. I need to reconnect with 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 myself. No, guys, I'm sorry. I need to get my is, guys. I hope you guys appreciate this. I give oh, because the, they're all incels. I'm gonna give you. The, I'm gonna give you advice there. right now. Yeah, Why they, do you have to feel bad have, about that? They don't have. First of all, girlfriends. they're not gonna like it. For what? That you're like that they're in, that I that you're like bro. Oh, Why no, do I, I always have to have a girl? Oh, they think that that's you're like, like saying I guess I'm so, bragging. I'm bragging. Yeah, you're saying like, oh, I'm I just I'm bathing in so much puss. No, 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 no. Oh, I could be my own woman. Shut up, Rufat. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> it's better what? But then to you be get with stuck Allah. in these. But you get stuck in these relationships and you don't have any time to breathe in between. Like I feel like you're doing more for the person if you take your time. You know what I mean? And you don't rush into things. It's just it's. You know, at this we point, we have to have a conversation tonight about it. I'm anything. 37. We have to have a conversation tonight. Call her right now. Let me talk to her. No, I'll do it for you, dude. No, it's uncomfortable. I'll do it for you. I don't know. I'm my my therapist is teaching me how to communicate and be more open. Who's I'm the very, therapist? Like, I'm very dodgy. Is it a girl? Yeah, it's a woman. I could never. I I thought so too. But, I could never because I my, I can't fully. No, but my last therapist was like I'm a still, chubby Jewish man. He was very jolly. I can't see a Jew either. And he was he was he he turned me in. To a little bit of a simp, bro. He was like, 
<laughs> all these beautiful girls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Goyles. <laughs> and it's summertime now, and they're wearing <laughs> less clothes. <laughs> Rufa, there were a lot of Goyles in New York. <laughs> yeah, he made me. He he, he kind of turned me into a simp. This new, this what? new. Wait, how did he turn you into a simp? Like, cause he he, he was, was like, like oh, you, have it's to, fine. you have to, you have to falling in love. You have to honor the feminine mystique. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know the divine feminine. Where is this? Where is this? A uh, woman therapist. Uh, she's she's like, nah, your feelings are valid. Mm-hmm. What if she's trying to get you not to get with chicks because she's trying to. Get stuck in a well, stuck in a dryer, my friend, and say I can't get out. My friend, I would not mind a soprano situation in my life. Oh, Jennifer Melfi. Yeah, yeah, but a yeah, Melfi situation. Mm-hmm. So she's know. how old is she? I don't know, but she is like a a little she's bit older. like like she be like yeah you know back in the nineties back back when I was in the nineties. Oh she really? Throws that around. She's like a back in the day style. Back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nineteen ninety three, golden era, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hip hop. Nas. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Illmatic. <laughs> no, I mean, I can If it's a girl, I'm even a little bit going to... So you think I should just keep hopping into different like relationships? My, my grandma touched my bicep mm-hmm. last time I saw her, and I found myself flexing. Just even... It was my grandma. She's 93. Like, okay. I want to still kind of imp- impress oh. girls. Yeah, So yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. fully... Even if it's a nasty, disgusting old woman. Not my grandma. Just uh, someone else. My grandma. Beautiful. Bad, um, baddie? No. She's no? 93. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. She's fire. But like, was she baddie back in the day? No. No? No. Oh. <laughs> my, oh, my bad. I wasn't supposed to say anything. Okay. I'm just, I'm sorry. sorry. No. She was. She was a baddie. Damn. That's crazy. I don't know. How do you answer that question? Like, you see pictures of them when you were young and you're like, oh, you know. Like, I, I, look, I looked at I pictures of my I, grandma and I was like. I was like, uh, oh, Grandpa likes them thick. You would clap it? <laughs> grandpa likes them thick. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a picture of her parents, uh-huh. like young, and it was a handsome man mm-hmm. and a big old girl. And I was like, I was like that. I, I was wondering, There's was that- people th- in your family? I mean, she was a, bi- she was a strong woman. Oh, but okay. I was wondering if there were different beauty standards or if he just liked it like that. Oh, an Armenian? No, I'm not an Armenian, dude. Oh, okay. I was looking at my great grandparents. Oh, your great grandma, because I know, you know, our women are. Thick. I feel like yeah, if you have to do farm stuff, you get thick. You need a you need a an oxen. <laughs> you need yeah, you going back to the Borat stuff. Right? I feel like Borat no, Latin. back in the old yeah, country, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. that was a that you needed a, you couldn't go for some art hoe. <laughs> you couldn't go for some some girl on Adderall. I'm on ketamine. Shut up. We have cows. They need attending. Definitely. You know, and and these eagles keep swooping down <laughs> and attacking oh, cause us. Because you're a Jew in the mountains? Maybe. Yeah, I, don't they know. Put I you was in just the a callback. Um, no, but I think, yeah, so I have to see a guy because then I, I could tell a guy, I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> but a girl, I'm like, you know, I'm, t- I'm just like, <laughs> just trying my best. See, I have like a much easier time talking about relationships. And I can't see a Jew. A few, to a, 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 I can't see a Jew either. Okay. No, I, I get that. My current guy, he's like 10 years older, and he said he's Catholic. Mm-hmm. He said one of the first sessions, he's like, I noticed you talk about being Jewish a lot. Mm-hmm. Stop it. And he's like, it's never positive. Yo, it's dead to that shit. No, he's like, <laughs> it's, never in a po- it's never in a positive light. And I think a Jew would just be like, yeah, of course, it's terrible to be. <laughs> so Yeah, hate. we hate this. <laughs> so yeah, hate. but a Gentile's like, oh, yeah, it seems like you, it's always a negative statement about being Jewish. <laughs> A Jew would be like, of course. Yeah. I wouldn't wish this on, upon my greatest enemy. I, that's what I like. That's one thing that I like about the Jews is I like the neurosis. I like the like self-introspection, kind of like the self-hate. I value, I like that. That's like the thing that I loved about Jerry West, how much he like just was like angry. He you died. Know? Yeah. It killed apparently, him. It really did kill him. Apparently, he was upset about that show, Winning Time. He was very upset. <laughs> he was one to Because I don't him. know if he was actually that big of a dickhead. He was. Was he? Yeah, he, he had a bad anger problem. I don't know. These guys haven't watched sports. They're only just racist. <sighs> they don't sorry, know about sports. Bro. They don't know about hip hop. They don't know anything. No. Just give give us some bars from Christian rap. It's a crisis because men are Christless. <laughs> we grab mic devices to save the unrighteous. So you were more like a lyrical style. I'm, yeah, I was lyrical. Miracle. It was like a boom bap kind of 1990s. Yeah. Yeah, we taking it back. We taking it. We definitely taking yeah. it back. We, I, yeah, I was, I was, yeah, yeah, I was backpack. I was like, a, I grew up in the backpack generation. Do you, you know think I mean? it was the greatest story ever told? The, the, the story of the Christ? 
but isn't that story just told everywhere? You know what I mean? But is it the best? I I just don't think it's the best story. It ain't that good. Boogie Nights is better than a lot better than than <laughs> Jesus. Sopranos is way better. Some guy. Though. Ridge Wallet is even better than. Oh shit! I love Ridge Wallet. I can't get enough of this crap, or not crap. Great products. This is yes, Ridge Wallet. They've been big supporters of our show. Am I allowed to hit the fume while we doing the Ridge? Of course. It's a great product. Uh, Ridge. No, not condoms. Are you a Magnum guy? Me? Uh, I, I like the yeah, Magnums. Yeah, in middle Even school. If it's, really? <laughs> yeah, back in you middle school You don't get Magnums now? Well, I know you're hitting it raw, but I'm just saying, if you were, were you ma- you're magnetizing? You're magnetizing? Mag- I haven't had sex in seventh grade. What? <laughs> yeah, I was one of the first. And w- you yeah. had sex in seventh grade? I was actually in fifth grade. Yeah. With all the, every single girl. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Dude, that, I remember in sixth grade, two kids had sex and I went home and cried. Because I was like, we're just kids. <laughs> I like hadn't hit puberty yet. I was like, why are we, th- now we're doing sex. I was like, I don't even have pubes yet. Yeah. Did, were you tracking it? Were you tracking the my pubes? my cycles? Yeah, I want to know when I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear I was. I like was tracking my ovulations. Yeah, I, I, guys, uh, I was real tracking quick. whether I was when I, whether I had pubes like for so long. Oh my god, god. I was so I was late. Clocking it, bro. I, I was have, clocking full bush, it. Full bush, like tenth grade. But the moment I, I even got some bullshit. hairs, I was like, yes. I was so happy. I was like, I went back and listened to the whole Slim Shady LP. I was like, I got, I got a, a, a like a, a hairbrush. I did a little Lenny Kravitz action with my thing. Mm. I was sagging. You put a scarf on it? Yeah, I was at front sagging. <laughs> my mom was like, can you put your pubes mm-hmm. away? I was like, sorry, I'm a man. Tommy bitch. Hilfiger bo- uh, briefs? Um, No, call, uh, Kirkland Signature. Um, Let's talk about Ridge, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're being sloppy with these, aren't we, Pete? Pete, don't tell Nick. And also, everyone watching, don't tell Nick. And uh, come to Vancouver this weekend. They launched Ridge, the owners of Ridge, with the simple belief that we could make wallets better. Two Kickstarters and over 10 years later, and over 5 million wallets later, we're still starting every day with that same mentality. Only now, it is to improve all items you carry every day. So basically, you know the Ridge wallet? Yeah. So it's like, uh, it's basically, you know, I walk around with a wallet, I got the pocket constitution in there. You know, I got magnums that I've been saving since seventh grade the last time I, the last time I smashed. The Ridge, the Ridge wallet can fit some magnums? No, no. Ridge wallet's like, come on. What are you doing with all these receipts? Go raw. You got to you gotta strip it Ridge, down to that, the core That should elements. be the new tagline. Ridge wallet. Go, Go raw. raw. Well, guess what? They're, what Wallets <laughs> for too long were designed to hold everything. I had an NDA in my wallet. I had an NDA. For post smash, post smash, and yeah, I'm like I heard famous guys have these with chicks, so and they're JB. like I don't even know J Justin Bieber and JB. I was Smooth. like I've done some open mics recently, so I need you to keep this on the low because mm-hmm. I'm starting my comedy journey. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need you to sign this NDA. Yeah, you're doing a Am artist's I way. I'm doing artist's way. You got to sign the NDA now. Wallets for too long were designed to hold everything, receipts, gift cards, and anything else you can stuff in there. We turned, uh, oh, they turned it on its head with their minimalist first approach to design. Minimalist and design, those are two words. Mm-hmm. You're like, that's Apple. That's Apple. That's, that's Apple. That's the iPhone. Mm-hmm. That's, Steve that's Jobs. smart. Carry less and live more. The materials, you cannot build better quality products without quality materials. Um, so basically, they have these shits out of aluminum, titanium, fucking the terminator of wallets, carbon fiber. Mm. Guys, They've, they, but they have more products than just that. They have backpacks. I use the backpack every day, the commuter bag. Um, they have uh, keychains. Is the backpack flat? The backpack is. Is, just, is, is it just like a? It's big a gray bridge material wallet? that like you could be in a f- uh, fucking hurricane and your shit won't get wet. I shouldn't make that as a claim. Um, guys, they have items for travel, carry-ons. Mm. Um, guys, go to ridgewallet.com. Use promo code TAFS. You'll get a nice fat little discount and tell them that adam sent you and and it's father's day get it for your dad you get it for get it for your get dad. it for your dad get it for he's your been dad. bringing milfs around you and you forgot 
You forgot about uh, th- to be erotic with him. I'm just saying, if your dad, mm-hmm. ridge.com, ridge.com slash mm-hmm. TAFS. I'm just saying, if your dad, you know, fell short as a father, mm-hmm. there's no better way. Than smashing? Yeah. The, yeah. I don't know. I got morals, bro. I don't know. I, I, I would, I, I, for some weird reason, yeah, it just. I think he respects you. He respects me? I think he would respect you. That would, I think be, he'd be, that like, would be a power listen. move. He'd be like, listen, you're a man now. You got a full bush. <laughs> 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 this is your Azerbaijani bar mitzvah. <laughs> you, you just, <laughs> you just, you just smash my milk. <laughs> you know what? It hurts, <laughs> but I'm proud of you. Has he ever <laughs> said, that, said that before? No. You should try. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. And guess I'm what? Guess who's not gonna get get caught hanging around you? Who? Right? The milf after you uh, have sex with her in the laundry room. She's not gonna be like, let's date. You think we have a laundry room? In the you come from a different type of class, huh? You come from we the we have a washing class. machine and stuff. Laundry rooms. It's just the garage. So I guess yeah. In the laundry room slash garage, mm-hmm. there's oil stains on the floor. She's Sexy. not gonna want to be like Rufat. Let's date. She's gonna be like, don't tell your fathers. But see, I'm not. He told really me that he had. He told me he had. Uh, a big <laughs> he live in florida i when i say, when he say florida i think miami i have to come to this shit place <laughs> st petersburg it's not even like the movie spring breaker said it would be <laughs> i thought Which i meet james franco no and he has he has cornrows and put a gun I, I put a gun in his mouth and i suck it like he make make him suck like penis and remember, also Gucci Mane was in that movie. Love, loved Gucci Mane in that movie. And your father, not, <laughs> he, not Gucci he's Mane. He's a bomb. <laughs> and I've been flashing poos at you every Thanksgiving. What the fuck do I have to do? If anything, he would respect you for the first time, <laughs> Rufat. But instead, I have to flash Titi. <laughs> I have to walk in shower, watch you masturbate. Why masturbate when you could have all of these? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was in a war before this. <laughs> nah, she wasn't. I was born in Chernobyl <laughs> before this. I have three pussies. <laughs> I'll let you hit all three holes, Rufat. This is crazy. Rufat, which one today? <laughs> my friend's uh, brother. <laughs> when, when I was in college, I, when I was in yeah. college, my friend's brother. It was w- more like torture than riffs. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. That was rude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was kind of rude. Pete was like, ha, ha, ha. So I thought yeah, it was going all right. Pete liked and it. And he's killed people. Pete so loves if he's roast battle style uh, naval kind of comedy. Okay. My friend, uh, my friend, his older brother, when we were in college, he came to visit. And I was like, what do you do? He's like, I work at the Tyra Banks. Like, she had a talk show. Oh, yeah, yeah. She had a was show she called Tyra. In a fat suit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Classic. And he, he was like, he was like, I was like, is it funny? He's like, she's a fucking psycho, dude. But um, they they had an episode on ladies with uh, someone wrote in and said I have two pussies right, and then came on the show. It was like yeah, like the thing about me is that I actually have two vaginas, and then people started writing in the show and that's lit. then they had seven <laughs> ladies with two pussies, and she, the intro of the show was like before you today fourteen pussies. She said <laughs> you have seven women and fourteen vaginas. <laughs> that was the. <laughs> You remember, do you remember that, was that? The intro to the show? <laughs> you remember that thing yeah. on a, that Zach Galifianakis special where he's Purple like onion? two pussies? Yeah, it's very funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I love that. Song. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Seven women and fourteen, 14 vaginas. Pussies. But she was like so serious. She was like <laughs> staring at the camera. She's a maniac, yo. She was crazy, Tyra Banks. She's still. I would smash. Any yeah. any woman. <laughs> any woman. Anyway. <laughs> my stepmom. If they consensually, yeah, yeah, respectfully. Would you smash my stepmom? I don't know what Any she looks like. Stepmoms? Can I see pics of all five? Uh, no, no, no. Let's this do a power be, rankings. This, <laughs> <laughs> this would have to. Well, come on, you asked me if I would have sex with my grandmother. I didn't say that. I just said, was she, you know, like was she banging, yo? Like back in the day. She's not my taste. She's rude. <laughs> She's rude. <laughs> you know, she's you my more girl. of the European. You know, she, she's you always more of the compa- European gals, right? I don't know. My girlfriend's like Italian, Irish, mm-hmm. Jewish. She's oh, like okay. New York. 
Yeah. She's New York style girlfriend. Yeah, like she was in the movie Kids or whatever. Like, no, no, not that style. More like the movie Manhattan with Woody Allen <laughs> <laughs> when she was uh, thirteen. She she was thirteen. Oh, okay. She yeah, was yeah, dating yeah. Uh, my hero. No, uh, what? Okay. Nothing. Yeah. I was I was implying that she had an underage relationship mm. with comedy legend Woody Allen, and I don't. I regret even telling that. Ju- that make that statement because he's a legend and he's not <laughs> i don't i think it's he's fine. been treated very unfairly he's no tyler perry what the hell are you talking about he's no tyler perry bro has tyler perry ever made a movie where called manhattan where it's black and white and he has a 17 year old girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> bro he made homecoming bro he made no he but he, he did made the new i mean medea that movie with kelly Rowland. that thing was popping. i saw i saw medea goes to jail in the theaters yeah, as and, you should. And it was pretty, I used to watch the it was plays. Pretty sad, actually. I used to see the play. The D used to get the DVD plays back in the really? day. Really? Oh, yeah. The you're plays a culture gentleman. Great. What were they about? They were the same thing. They just were like they were going in, like they were really like singing. It was more theatrical. It was like about. It was like way better than Hamilton. Way better than Hamilton. I never saw Hamilton actually. I don't like hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> That the I was at a wedding recently and there were like kids like go like you know going around from table to table like a TikTok Riz party. It was a wedding between okay. two people that love each other actually, but these little kids were like going around. They're like, "Hey, can we do our song for you?" And mm-hmm. they were like, "He was a bastard, bastard son of a Hamilton." And I was like, "Can you get? I don't care. <laughs> That's lit." They were doing <laughs> Hamilton for us. Alexander Hamilton and I was like stop it you're annoying me <laughs> yo they were pranking you're annoying you bro me. That's you're annoying pr- me that's like I every time I go to one of these I just remember that he hasn't asked yet I feel so single at this and now I have to listen to you bastards rap Hamilton to me <laughs> no that's your girlfriend <laughs> I'm just I'm just a f- fucking dumb bitch are you gonna are you gonna uh, well pr- all um, but everyone everyone gets married even the fat ones What's wrong with me? My borderline personality disorder? <laughs> My sex problem? <laughs> That's, you, you, you've dated, B, you, of course you've dated somebody with BPD. No? No. Damn, I have. Not no, sure. pretty much, I think every girl, right? You think every girl has? I think pretty much like the B-pad? 97%. I mean, I'd. All of them are like. I wouldn't disagree. I'm going to fucking crash this car and we're going to die. We're gonna fucking die, and you're like, "All right, we'll go fucking fuck. We'll go to, the, we'll go see the fucking." That when I was with that Jewish therapist, I remember telling him, "I was like, yeah, my girlfriend like spazzed out on me and like hit me." And he's like, "That's what goyles do." No, he was like, <laughs> he was you like, need to check it. You need to check it. He was like, "Did he say you need to hit her back?" No, no, no. no. <laughs> but he was like, he was like, "That's a problem." Sometimes, he, <laughs> sometimes you need to slap a bitch. <laughs> sometimes when she's getting out of line. <laughs> A therapist could just give the, the worst advice, I know. and because it's like, but it's a pri- it's like a, it's a communication that's protected by law, right? Yeah. So you could just pass all your tests to be a therapist, and then just go in and be like, be like, I think you should, um, you know, I think you should like, what if you kill something? <laughs> like, if your therapist, like, you know, they're not smashing, you know what I mean, and they're giving you advice. That's not what I was. That's saying. crazy. I wasn't saying if they're not getting pussy. <laughs> I was saying they could tell you like, I think, I think you should kill your parents. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, think they they're the source of all your problems, and you should just awful. murder your parents, and get the life insurance and split it with me, <laughs> and then we can go to Florida, and there's no state tax, and it's gorgeous this time of year. Yeah, you gotta get. A, a we gotta Jewish cut. We're from. we're getting nothing out of that. What out of the act out? The whole thing. It's crazy. <laughs> the act outs are crazy. We gotta go from the ad. <laughs> can, can we start from the ad? <laughs> I'm just dying here. Well, let's just go. Let's just can can we just die? That felt bad. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> I think you should be a serial killer. <laughs> I think you should. Oh. <laughs> She shouldn't have been wearing that. No, no, no. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. No, no. Come on. Come on. Pete, this is... Let him get hard. Pete, there's like 300,000 people watching this. (laughs) 
<laughs> so Rufa, what was that story about? You said where you had two cars that were made into one. Okay, so like my first car that I ever got was back in like in college, and I remember asking like my mom for a car. So she bought two Honda Preludes, and she had the 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 me- Armenian mechanic kind of like Frankenstein shit together. She welded it. <laughs> well, he like what, used, was it one had a crash one, on one yeah. side and one had a crash on the other one. <laughs> he didn't weld it, but he like put like he gutted the parts from the inside and put it into the other one. And I remember being like. Uh, driving it wasn't like two cars cut in half in, no. into one. That would have been that cool. would have been better. Like a fucking. I thought this situation. was a way better story. Now I know you just did an engine it's swap. Pre- <laughs> <laughs> you were. T- I was asking him. I was like, "You got any crazy stories?" He's like, "All my stories are pathetic and sad." And you, you were like, "Oh, my mom gave me a car that was two cars." I was like, "That's funny. You're on the highway. It splits down the middle. The love of your life." She gets separated, Uh you know, she's on the other side, falls, you know, and then you're haunted by that the rest of your life, (laughs) falls off a cliff, a Florida style cliff. No, it just, it it, goes into Everglades, alligator fucks her. (laughs) No, the car (laughs) broke down in Nashville and uh, it's like a country song. It, it, that is like broke a, down yeah. in Nashville, Pardon? Armenian car, <laughs> and just only it only <laughs> drove up to fifty miles per hour. That's uh, it. That's about as sad as it. it really, because Preludes kind of whip a little bit. No, but it broke down, so like it, it wouldn't. If if it hit like fifty, it just would turn right off. It was bad. Do you regret listening to Sam Talent about putting me on the show now? No, you're my friend, dude. I <laughs> I like just hanging out with you. <laughs> We'll yeah. clean. Well, Peter will clean this up. Peter, he added some auto tune to it. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. You just say some, say some rap stuff, and don't, don't leave that in where I say, say some rap stuff. Say some. Did rap. you meet Kanye when you were a rapper? Mm-hmm. You did. When did you meet him? We got into. Was living in New York. Got into this. No, uh, this uh, Mason Martin. F- or like a Margella for H and M party, and it was like in this. Oh, little I love collabos. Love. Em. I love. I love waiting on the street for a drop. But it wasn't even a. Dr- it was just like the party. Oh, so you were like on the list. The actual party. We got in with like a G- Givenchy intern. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was working at a Marriott and Apparel at that time. Nine dollars an hour. You know yeah. how I do. They uh, used to have the the. Se- remember high school. Yeah, I did a wa- the flyest like, girls were the working at American Apparel. That was my first job. Sad in, New in York retrospect City. that they were being forced to alcohol by. A <laughs> yeah. Cut that too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, continue. Wait, so Kanye was there, and what you you're like you, you just, were like you're yeah. like let me get off twelve bars. Nah, cause cause he was behind like a rope. He was behind like a little velvet rope, and he was speaking to that Jewish guy from um, mm-hmm. Benjamin from Netanyahu. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, Leo Chromio from Chromio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah, Track's yeah. brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was talking to A Track's brother. A Track was his DJ uh, uh, on the road. I got a show. crazy uh, uh, what's it called a DJ story uh, from for, from Kanye too. Uh, but basically he was behind this velvet rope. He was talking to him. And then all of a sudden a photographer came up to me and this dude. And he was like, he's a fucking dickhead, man. He's, he's a piece of shit, man. And I guess Kanye kicked the photographer out of the, the little velvet area. Uh, cause he didn't, he asked Kanye who he was. <laughs> so you should ask him for, you already have the vest on. Uh-huh. You should have asked him for his camera. Get and over the rope and then be like, give me, twi- let me do like, 12 bars. Like a big Sean. What would you have done as your best bars for Kanye? Just Im- just imagine, this is your one chance in life. It's like Justin Bieber singing for Usher. Well, I'm already at that one chance in life. I'm on the Adam Freeland podcast. Okay, so do I'm it for the audience. I'm, I'm fucking This crushing. is your mom's spaghetti th- moment. <laughs> do it for the, our audience. The, these are big hip-hop I heads. I hate this. What? They're not hip hop heads. They're racist. No, they were really into the beef. They said, "Oh, Drake switched his flow up three times on, <laughs> on Family Matters, and then, and but then Kendrick ended it all. And then, how do you come back from saying you're a? B- you can't say 17 is legal in Canada. That's not. That's not something you can say. I don't know why I'm giving them a Jewish voice. <laughs> Give them your. This is Kanye might be watching. He likes the show. He likes. He yeah. likes the show. Yeah. I swear to God, if he hears this story. It's a really interesting story you just told. <laughs> you might be feel bad that you never got to get your bars off. I don't want to get my bars off. Rufa, please. Okay, let me. I'm gonna give you a shook ones type beat. Okay, give me a shook. Give me a shook ones type beat and give me like 
give me, I'll, I'll freestyle for you. No, and, we got to do. And you give me like three topics. No, and I'll we freestyle for we you. Got, no, we got to do like a Kanye beat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do let the beat build instrumental. This is going to be great. Let me see if I got raps. I might have raps. I might have raps. I think I got raps. Okay, we're going to do instrumental. Dude, are you ready? This is okay. Let's go. Uh Yeah, I did write a little rap. I'm I'm going to do the little rap. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh this is goes against everything I stand for, but I'm doing it for the show. Oh, is, I'm doing on, it dude. for the show. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a hater, part of the patriarchy, calculating parsley. My current state, I'm based in bossy. The dog in me, dog. I turn into the tin man around Tanashi. Tim, grab the tool man and fucking off me. I'm with Hannah Gadsby and Charles Barkley. We smoking CBD up in the Rari with the Ouija board trying to talk to Navalny. <laughs> okay. Wait, Navalny was the guy that got killed yeah, by Putin. He got killed by Putin. They, so that's the, they're going to learn something and they're going to they're going to vibe that's out. That's not a bad. I just wrote that. that oh, that's, I thought it was top of the dome. I thought you were texting. No, no, no. Oh, no. I, I was thought you were freestyling with, like with a text to go. I was reading off the phone like Drake, bro. Well, that's Drake reads off someone else's phone, actually. Wait, where'd my fume go? Oh, I'm gonna fucking lose it if I don't find my fucking. All fume. right, guys, it's been Duh, a great episode. I'm in Vancouver this. I'm in Vancouver this weekend. You got any where's dates? Where's my fume? You got dates? Um, I'm in uh, I'm in Richmond, Virginia, July 12th. Great city. Yeah. Um, At the Funny Bone. Nah, it's this like new place okay i think called super bloom or something like that oh um, i've heard of that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, fun yeah, 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 go yeah. check out roof guys thanks for joining us 